of velvet glove is the charming feel of love but i feel so down and low cuz i broke up with my love it's been hard and resent but sure is not the end how fast it can be mend i'm trying to comprehend i don't know what to do i'm searching for a clue as one and one is two god i want to be with you god i want to be with you welcome to the show we are getting nearer to the answers in last episode we discussed about the choices choices which parents want to make wherein on the other hand choices which children want to make adolescent behaves very contrary to their parents at times or i should say most of the times parents feel this is the right time for them to get focused to think about their career to get focused in life wherein adolescent feel this is the right time to get into affairs because that find interesting to them they feel this is the time to try new things that new things could be positive as well as negative that's the reason they are going towards addiction because they feel trying alcohol drugs other things finds them more happy they feels wow this is something new we are getting into it wherein parents feel where are our kids going let's see do we have the right path for them can we bring them to the right path just from the age of teenage we have today sister usha didi who is a fame of brahma kumari who has directed many teenagers and taught them what the right path is let's listen from her how can we mold the teenagers because that's the most crucial age welcome to this show sister thank you om shanti om shanti so today like in last episode you discussed about the choices but this is the time wherein they feel we just want to do what we want to do so what do you feel is this the right time to fall in love well if we ask anyone in the world everyone would say after their experiences this is not the right time but definitely they are attracted and because of this attraction only they take wrong steps and i would say it is not even attraction i think they want to try it out that's all they want to try it out not realizing the results of it or the pain that is behind it because they feel trying out is not bad nothing bad no, yeah. no nothing wrong and in that trying out they fall into some big problems my problems not realizing it therefore they have to be educated there as well nowadays in our education system definitely the education system feels that children at this age should get a lot of exposure so that they don't make mistakes in their life they don't go on to a wrong path but together with that exposure i feel they have to be exposed to the results also yes not just to the exposure of what it is what the world is but together with it the results also if people go this direction what will happen to them this exposure also has to be given to them so that they are aware of it and they can make the right choice another thing that i really feel is that sometimes the parents are also responsible and how they are responsible that the kids make the wrong choice because they are too much after them yeah you have to do this because they feel that still our kids are kids they have no maturity and that is why they try to direct them but at this age of 16 as it is normally said 
till the age of 15 the children may listen to them hmm. but after 16 they would not listen to you and so the parents have to realize as it is said you have to become a friend to your child if you want to guide him then a parent then a parent why this happens when we are kids we are small toddlers whenever children come home from school the parents would ask the children so how was your school today what happened what did your teacher teach you they take interest in asking them everything but as they go to the secondary school and they come home and they want to talk about their teachers their friends and everything and at that time par parents would say stop all that I'm least interested in your school you know yeah so now the child does not have anyone to share the child feel rejected yeah what happened the whole day he wants to share with the parents and they don't have time for their kids to listen to what they are trying to say because that's the right time when we can guide them look your friend did this don't go towards that or that was not a right thing that he did we can show them the consequences of what would happen but this time uh, adolescent feel i'm grown up enough so sometimes, that's why he feels that i'm grown up sometimes even when parents ask no kids find it like little too much and like you say that uh, parents say just stop it i think sometimes it's other way around kids say stop it mom i'm grown up they just don't want to share anything they kind of go through a solitary no, lifestyle no, because because i feel the parents are asking about their studies they are not asking about general things general things of what happened you can ask them on that level no okay do you think that if our adolescent says that mom i kind of have crush on this person when a toddler says this mom i like this girl she giggles off and she hugs and say you know she just love him more or her more but when a teenager says that i have a crush sometimes they have a crush on their teachers or an elderly person or on the same age group the parents erupt they react which makes children little scared yeah that next time if i again say this that is the time when they start finding solutions to themselves to themselves they want to share it with somebody with somebody and they don't have that somebody yeah so i would like to start this at a note that a teenage love affair bringing two kids together one is a liar and the other is too stupid when two people at this time they feel that you know my girlfriend at least listens to me or the girl feels at least he listens to me so much yeah. at that time when they eventually grow up because it's not love because it was for some need to be fulfilled mm -hmm. one person is too stupid because they feel oh this is the world to me he listens to me means he loves me yeah and other person probably after some time when they get into a uh, better age they feel oh this girl is really so stupid of me i mean i don't find her that good let me move on to the next relationship there it starts the story of breakup yeah that's what is the biggest turmoil which is going through and like you know we have fantasies and adolescent is the age of fantasies of fairy tales what we have heard in our toddlers mm. so mm. we kind of feel that first love has to be for girls tall dark and handsome on for a boy it is like beautiful pretty and she she should have all the qualities of what i have expected in my fairy but it never happens yeah so at the initial level it crashed down earlier breakups used to happen at a bigger level now it has started having at the adolescent level so what could be done about it should we first give the education yeah. about the difference between the love lust and infatuation yes, which yes. would make them clear very very necessary it is very necessary that we have to educate them of what all this is 
so that if there is a breakup, they don't feel it is a breakup. Well, they have their own choices. You have your own choices because when they cannot handle that, that's when sometimes they cut the veins yes. and do all that, trying to attempt for a suicide or all that. So either we educate our child, look, friends is nothing bad. You had friends, you had a liking for them very well. But as people are growing up, they have some attractions to some other places also towards somebody else also. Maybe you are the choice that time when you needed them or they needed you. But now life is not always the same. And so this was just like a need that was fulfilled at that time. You have to go on. So we need to educate. The teachers need to educate them. At this time, or the parents also can educate them that look, this is what life is. And that is when the child may understand that yes, this is practical. Do you think educating a child would be enough? Or what we can do is like adolescents are attracted to friends because they feel that whatever we are doing right or wrong would be accepted as it is. But when it comes to parents, parents kind of don't, are not ready to take the love affair of their uh, children. You know, they feel they are still too young and they would, a mother would just shout that at the age of 13, you have fallen for a guy, you have entire life, you're screwing your career. Yeah. Can we bring the parents to the so level? So instead of reacting, immediate reaction, Try to understand that. Why? And then we can help them understand the real fact of life. Instead of just screaming at them and rejecting them and saying that this is something you have done very bad, not making him feel guilty at this time. Yeah. But at that time, we have to be wise ourselves and we have to help the child move on in his life also. Do you think so, mothers or fathers, they are ready to take these kind of stories in their house? Do you think they are ready to they have talk to, to their uh, kid about it they so openly? They will have to be. They will have to do. What would be your five tips to the parents which they should follow when their kid is at the age of adolescent? The first thing I would say is you have to understand the psychology of your kid. After all, he's your kid. So you know him better than anything else. So that is why you have to understand him, see where he goes, what happens and everything. And if he admits to you that I have uh, an affair with this girl or this boy, do not react. Do not react. Let him speak whatever he has to speak. Then we can ask him, how about your friends? They are also in affairs. Try to bring out. And the child would say, yes, everybody has somebody. Yeah. Then we can say, and they are all very well going along. Out of the friends, one or two might have had breakups. Yeah. So what happened then? Oh, she tried to commit a suicide, you know. Then we can intervene. This is what happens. Sometimes you feel you love that person. But actually it is it was just the need. Need you know? of an hour. Need of the hour. And so these things happen. Because we took it to be real. And that is that was not real. It was just an illusion. So we have to be very cautious. I don't mind. Because they immediately will say back, give answers back to their parents. But you also had a love marriage. Yeah. You know? They, this would happen. Yeah. This would so definitely happen wrong? in today's time. Yeah. So we can say, look, definitely love is nothing bad. But we have to understand the difference between need and love. That wasn't. We can ask them, what do you feel? Is it a need or is it real love? You actually want to say before we make the kids 
ready for the consequences yes the parent should be ready yes that what their kid would say to them and they should be at that mental level that they accept it yes. because today we are happy to take our own kid to a counselor but we can't counsel them because we feel that a kid would be open to a counselor and a kid is open to the counselor because he or she feels that he would not shout he yeah. would not erupt that's that's the point that's why i said the parents should not react first thing and this is what i would like to advise to the parents also that whenever you see your children behaving in a peculiar manner remaining lost in something yes you have to understand you should understand the early signs of it early signs of it so when they are lost in something see them watch them what they are doing whether when you are saying something whether they are listening to you or not or they are in their own minds or they are constantly on their phones oh, like yes. whatsapp chatting with somebody or something is happening then we can sit with them so what's happening what's going on how are your friends we can make it a general thing and what role because most of the time it's long hours of schools and it's like most of them are into day boarding or hostels what do you think simultaneously along with the parents what role teachers could play in that because as you said previously we are talking to the kids about the problems what they face into adolescent but nobody ever told them the consequences mm. nobody mm. ever told them the end results yeah so they feel oh this is fun i mean when they are being taught about it they imaginary feels oh, this is going to be fun let me try it out I do you feel think we need to take another step i feel that uh, sometimes we can have some workshops for them yes And that is what that, is required we can ask them questions relating what happens if some somebody just ignores you rejects you whom you have liked so much and who had helped you during the what would you do yes. and try to get their answers and let it let them discuss amongst themselves let it be type of a workshop and i feel what i was thinking just now that when the parents see the early signs it is better for the parents it is better for the parents that um, maybe it's the birthday of a child and they would say so at this birthday what would you like why don't we have a party and you invite all your friends here instead yes. of going to some else there we can watch activities about the friends how many friends are talking to whom whether they are engaged with girls and yeah and in this way then we can have a workshop at the place only at home only call or your friends i have something very beautiful we can have a nice workshop together and during that time you can ask a question put a question let them discuss amongst themselves do you think they will discuss in front of their parents yes not maybe not in front of the parents but you hold it in such a way you can record everything yeah and you think this is the time wherein teachers also play a very important role mm. because they are kind of at this age adolescent somewhere down the line they feel more than my mom my teacher knows about it mm. more than my dad my uh, director knows about it mm. they are kind of more attracted to them because they feel you know they are the person who are framing us in the way we want yeah so i think uh, teachers could pay, play a important role what would be your suggestion to the teachers when adolescent even even for the, the teachers yeah. we can organize a workshop so that they can discuss of how they will be able to handle this type of situations so um, special training should be given to the teachers as well so that they can handle this problem in a beautiful way instead of just looking at them as if they are doing something very wrong you know and they catch the vibrations the children they catch the vibrations so that is why i said if the parents can play this role rather than the teachers maybe sometimes so the teachers they would say my parents are not saying me anything why are you why interfering should, yes yeah so that is the why both the, has been important role yeah so that is why the parents should 
bring the children together and met, let them discuss, let them be exposed, let them come out with solutions. Then we can guide them. Okay, now my point would be that a big spiritual organization like yours mm. can design the program for the toddlers, for the teachers and for the parents because you are the people who has influenced thousands and millions mm -hmm. because you had that power, you are conventional and you are right. But the right things, early stages seems to be most wrong because maybe it is not presented in the right way. But I feel like how discussion we are doing it, you are making every aspect of it understand. Yeah. So we, we organize actually, we have youth programs going on here. We have a youth wing in fact. And every year we organize a special conference on uh, youth for creativity. And in them, many youth come from all over, uh, all over India. We also have an international youth um, retreat going on in Mount Abu, especially during Christmas time, because that is the time when international youths, they come. they can come. Presently also, we have this international youth and even for the toddlers, international level, because okay. this is the time when they have vacation, so they can come over. Then they celebrate Christmas also, and they uh, have this retreat where everything is discussed openly. So we have programs for young kids, which is known as Touch the Light. Touch the Light. Okay. And for teenagers also, we have a program. And this program is on values. Like it is like uh, spiritual values, moral values. And in that, beautifully we have come out with that uh, for, for the toddlers, we have come out with like values also we take. Touch the Light when we say that. Like it is like cooperation. We take up one value, cooperation. Okay. And then we ask them, so today when you go home, the whole week, we give them a work for the whole week. You won't believe small kids, when they go home, immediately they ask their mom, can we clean these utensils? So the mom feels, doesn't wash her own glass when yeah. she drinks water. And today what has happened to her? is desperate about it. I need to make maximum. Yeah. I've got this homework, you know. Yeah. So we have seen each value. When we take up honesty, we take up truth. How much truth they have spoken throughout the week and they should be truthful to themselves. Suppose there are a group of people who want to come, be with you mm -hmm. and grab the information. Yeah. There are many who feel we are right at our path. Yes. How to take this knowledge to every home, to every teacher, to every school, so that at least we can stop what the turmoil teenagers are going through. Well, definitely visit our centers and our sisters can help them, guide them. And it is very easy for us. Sister, I would like to know from you in the next episode, how can we approach an organization like yours? at a personal level, at a parent level, and at your organization level. Sure. Thank you so much for guiding us in the right direction. Sure. Thank you. Om Shanti. So, now you have a hand. You just need to come and hold it. And this will take you to the right direction. In our coming episode, we will discuss how can we do that. Can we do that at a personal level? and at a mass level. So stay tuned to get to know how to hold the hand. Thank you so much. What happened is bygone And I don't want to mourn I know that I'm not done Show me how can I move on Show me how can I move on